Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and our week 16 of our complete home renovation project update vlog. If you were new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. We have got weekly renovation updates at the moment and as we move closer to moving in and the renovations are coming to an end, they are going to turn into kind of more organization videos but I shall hopefully still be bringing those to you weekly as well as speed cleans, shop with me's hauls, all that kind of good stuff so I hope you will love all that and subscribe. So let's take a look around and we're starting my bedroom which this week has turned into a little bit of a mess. As we can see lots of bits and pieces have been brought over. This TV isn't actually even going there but it's been dumped there temporarily. We've got all of this stuff dumped under here. This is all the cushions and the bedding and stuff that's been hanging around the room for a while that I bought in the range with a shop with me and Hall a little while ago. This stuff is uh, vacuum sealed things. These are actually some of the girls clothes that eventually I want turned into like a keepsake blanket. I want one for each of them. Um, and they're in these vacuum and sealed bags. I mean, this one's actually come undone a bit, so I need to redo that one. And they're just gonna have to be stored in the attic until I can get around to sorting that out. But I would really love those made it into like a keep it blanket. Um, but for now, they've kind of been dumped there until they get put in the attic. This is just ready to put stuff under the ottoman bed when it arrives. I got the date for that um, delivery mixed up. It's actually, I think it's the 23rd or the 24th that's coming, so that'll be after next week's update that the bed is arriving. However, we have got some other stuff. So I've got the mattress over here and I've put the sheet, which I also bought in the range, on there. So that is the king size mattress. So that is the shape, well the size anyway, that the bed is going to be, but it's going to be an ottoman bed, so that's gonna lift up with loads and loads of storage underneath. So I cannot wait to see that and then really dress the bed. Um, and I've bought some new bedding. So we've got two pairs, one over there and one over there, of these hotel collection pillows. I was feeling the overwhelm with choosing pillows. There are so many different choices and I don't know if I want a hard pillow or a soft pillow. So I don't know if this is just like a marketing scam, but I thought hotel collection, I'll give it a go. And then I also went for the luxury hotel collection duvet as well. We went for 10 and a half tall, which I think is thicker than we've got now in our current house. But I don't know, I must admit, Choosing all that stuff, all with the overwhelm. Um, now there is a mattress protector I also bought that's already gone on there, and I will link all these bits below in the description if you want any of them. But I also bought these quilted zipped pillow protectors to go on my luxury hotel, all that business. So let me know if I've done the right thing in buying these, if they're any good, or if there is actually a method you're supposed to use for buying pillows and duvets and things, but yeah. I was totally confused, there were too many choices. I think this was here last week. The only difference in the wardrobe is I've actually brought over some of the Drona boxes. Now, you'll notice that when you go inside the wardrobes, the internals of the wardrobes don't match the rest of the house as well. That's because all of these boxes were previously on our top floor in my attic, and I just thought, you know, they're gonna be behind the doors, it's not worth buying all new ones and all of these kind of woodeny things. I mean, they do match, we've got oak doors, so it's not totally the end of the world. But anyway, that's why they're sort of the wrong color, if you like. So we've now got a rail there and a rail here. That'll be my husband's. And then we've got all of this storage in the middle. And then we've got real rails, reels? <laughs> we've got rails here. These two are gonna be mine. The only thing I have brought over are a couple of spare coats because I am fed up of coming back from like the school run or something and being absolutely soaked, not having a clean coat to put on. I mean, as it happens, as you know, if you've been watching my Instagram stories at the moment, there's such a lot going on there in the world. Um, we are social distancing at the moment, so I'm not really walking back and forth school because the little ones are not in school. But still, if we are going outside, there's nothing worse than getting soaked and not having a dry coat to put on. And then over here, we've got similar but I've got these wire baskets, which I'm slotting in other little baskets, and I'm kind of gonna use these as my drawers. Now we have got a chest of drawers over there in the corner, but I'm gonna put my husband's stuff in there, and he's gonna have his stuff like down that end. And as this is my side of the bed, I always sleep on that side of the bed, he always sleeps on that side of the bed. Couldn't possibly swap, it would be too weird. Let me know in the comments, by the way, have you got an absolute side of the bed you have to sleep on that would just be the weirdest thing in the world if you swapped? I have, it would just be so strange otherwise. Anyway, um, so that is for kind of my pants, socks, jeans, 
and the such like. So heading out of our room now, which is a bit of a mess, but you know, hopefully a lot of this will be swallowed up by when the bed is made and stuff. So I think that'll be not the week 17, but the week 18 update that we can kind of reveal the bed, which I'm super excited about because I mean, this room can be finished. Heading out here, we do need a light, don't we? Because it's later in the day, it's getting a bit a dingy. Into Will's room. Again, not a great deal has changed in here other than um, other than it's, I've moved some of the rugs in here that actually belong downstairs. This is for the front door and uh, for the door into my office. One of these rugs is for Dylan's room and two are for the hall, but um, there's stuff going on downstairs. So those have just been dumped in here and this is where William's bed will go. William's bed, I actually measured this, this is why they're in this position. William's bed is a single bed and will fit in that gap. So he'll be fine. And all that stuff is ready to go up the attic. I just haven't done it yet because I'm vertically challenged and I need some help getting some stuff up the attic. I am only five foot four and it is hard work. Uh, so yeah, not much other than a bit of a mess in here. Oh, other than, I think there's a rail in here actually. I think this is new from last week. Yes, there is. So last week we only had this one. We didn't have a rail. We've now got this side as well. So Will's got Calyx storage all the way down there. And then we've got two rails. Now this has got one, two, three, four, five main holes. And what we're gonna do, it's got the two little ones as well. But what I'm gonna do is get William to fold his uniform for each day into one of the holes. So in there we'll go, his jumper, his t-shirt, his trousers, his pants and his socks. So everything he needs to wear for each day will be in one of those. He won't even bother having to hang it up. So that'll be super easy. Very exciting. Cause you know, I love a bit of organization. So heading out, where should we go now? Let's go into the bathroom, which I'm pretty sure is the same, but we're just gonna do a quick scan in case you haven't seen any previous videos. Just will be super quick though. Why is that not working? Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, super, super quick. Um, oh, one more, there is something new in here. Tell a lie, we've got a toilet roll holder and a very slim loo brush, which I bought in my Home Bargains and Pound Stretcher haul. So there are new things in here, see I was lying. And then we have got, you know, this is the same. I do still need super thin baskets, like more of those to fit in here because I've only got one or two of them. I need some more of those to fit up the shelves because I'd rather take out a basket of stuff, sort it out and put it away than sort of reach over the bath. So yeah, other than the toilet roll, the loo brush, they I think the only new things in there. Into Miss Bella's room. I am having to flick on all the lights because it is later in the afternoon and it's starting to get a bit dark and dreary. So I've brought over a load of pink boxes and I've brought over some books. All I'm doing is every time I come over here, I'm bringing some stuff in the boot of my car because it will make moving when we eventually move less overwhelming. So most of these boxes are empty, but at least we can get a feel for how it's gonna look. Bella also has brought some activity book look to do, some ready, steady, right she's been doing. Um, so I in here, let's have a look in here. We have got some more of these. So this is forming the kind of the drawers section, the storage section of her wardrobe. This all needs to be filled up with boxes. And then over here is her hanging rail. So two hanging rails actually. I have brought over a couple of her dressing up items as well. And this will be for her stuff. Now at the moment at home, I hang everything for school on like one hanger and I put one of those, uh, like a cosmetic case, a clear case over it. And in there go her pants and socks and things. Now I am gonna work on maybe just folding them and putting them in here um, and then putting, you know, like folding her pinafore, her, um, t-shirt cardigan and then pants and socks and hair accessories can all go in each one um, and then maybe i'll still use those sort of plastic containers maybe i won't i haven't quite decided yet but these do make an ideal solution if you are looking for uniform organization and then at the bottom i just got two boxes of uh, that's basically just dressing up stuff so yeah that's bella's room coming together nicely we're just waiting for the chest of drawers which is coming from william's room and the bed, which obviously we won't be bringing until we move in. Into Zaza's room. Zara's room has got a bit more stuff in it. So we've got, I've brought over a couple of her little kind of decorative bits and pieces. And you can see there are toys in some of these boxes. Some of them are empty and some of them have got toys in them. 
but overall i'm quite pleased with how that's looking and i have brought over a load of books i've been doing some book decluttering at home i still got sort of some books at home um, but I have brought over some of those because you know they're heavy and we just need to sort of bring things over a bit at a time And this room I'm kind of using as the playroom until we move in because it has got a baby gate on the door So she's not going to fall down the stairs or anything So I'm using this as kind of a safe space when I need to load and unload This has come over. I can't remember if this was over last week, but this is over And then in here we've got Zara's Calyx on one side Now I did want this on the external wall, didn't I? But that's not going to work because and yeah, I brought some of her summer clothes over as well. Actually, these are Bella and William, um, Bella and William's, Bella and Zara's summer clothes, because I always um, address them in matching dresses. So I tend to hang them up together, because then I can just grab what I need. But basically, the reason the calyx isn't over this side is because that's where the electricity is, um, and that will be, that's run through here and come out there, so there's, there's electricity. But I have brought over rather a lot of dressing up clothes, dressing up clothes, and summer clothes. Basically stuff that they don't really need on a day-to-day -day basis. So that is Zara's room. Oh, out here, I tell you what I forgot to show you. Look what I forgot to show you. I forgot to show you that this has all been wallpapered in the same pixie dust that we've got in our room over there. And do you know what else I forgot to show you? The carpet, this was not here last week. So we had carpet in the bedrooms. We did not have carpet on the landing and we did not have carpet all the way down the stairs. And I'm pretty sure we didn't have all the glass last week in the stairs, did we? And I think it was a bit dirty as well. So, really exciting to see how all the stairs are kind of come together. And they are looking. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Heading into our downstairs loo, where the light magically comes on. Oh, and it does, good. We are still um, needing a cabinet for down here to store toiletries and towels and such things. And we still need a toilet roll holder. But other than that, I think this room is done. I'm quite pleased with that because it did used to have just a toilet down there in a sink and that was it. So I feel like we've made quite good use of the space by squeezing a shower in and this kind of space saver toilet thingy. Into the teenager's room, which now has blinds and we are getting here, there in here. We still need to box in that over there and this cupboard still needs to be built in a similar way to the others which will have these kind of shelving units up the side and in the middle with railings across and this is such a massive cupboard that he'll be able to have most of it and we'll be able to do what we do in our current house which is store sort of off-season coats and things in there as well because that is a huge cupboard and we do have that um, a couple of the children have off-season coats and things stored in their rooms at the moment but overall, really pleased with this. We just need a shelving unit here and here. I think he's got a TV and an Xboxy rubbish to go there. And then bed along here, desk there, I think. Not 100%, but that's what I think. Um, so yeah, just I can't get it over how much I love the stairs. Quite pleased with those. Also, I can't remember if we showed you this last week. This is our kind of school bag unit. Starting at the youngest, we've got one for Zara. Bella, William, Dylan, myself and my husband and that's for all bags and things by the front door that need to be grabbed so hopefully the stuff won't be left everywhere. Now we have got a lot of shoes <laughs> dumped here and this luckily is not a real rug, this is just a carpet offcut. Although I have got the real rug, the one we saw in William's room, to go all along there when sort of it's less kind of workman boots in and out. Um, we've got a lot of rubbish going on under the stairs at the moment which is eventually going to be shoe storage and obviously this needs finishing. But we have got coat hooks under here now. Hello, my darling. <laughs> Going into the laundry area, we've got a two high calyx unit here. There are another four boxes to be put on top there. And again, when the stuff comes out of the dryer, because this is going to be the washing machine and this is going to be the tumble dryer, when the stuff comes out of the dryer, it's going to, we're going to have one box each, starting for youngest, going up to eldest. And then the stuff goes out of the dryer, gets sorted into the relevant person's box and bunged upstairs. And then here, is going to be these oh look these rails are going to go from the wall to over here much like we've got in the wardrobes and this radiator will cause the heat anything that comes out of the washing machine that's going to be the washing machine use your imagination and can't go in the dryer it's going to be hung up over here um, in our sort of airing cupboard area on ra on the rails on hangers and it will stay there until it's dry and it will go upstairs and then all of this is having sliding doors 
to hide all of that. Now, coming through here to my office, which we still need to box in this. I think the purple sofa that's currently in our playroom, we'll have to go there for now. Eventually I would like a grey sofa, but the purple one will do for now. We have got lots of these nice boxes in here. That tissue box doesn't belong there. I don't know where that's from, but there we go. That's how it's supposed to look. Although the tissues sort of match, don't they? But yeah, we'll just bung those away. We'll bung those away. There we go, that's better. <laughs> the tissues do sort of match with the greys, but you know. Um, most of these are empty, by the way. They're just um, ready to fill with stuff. And then my desk is gonna go across here. Uh, this is the printer and stuff, which has been brought over. I'm not sure why we brought this over so early, actually, because there's no computer over here. But never mind. No. Heading into the lounge, which we can sort of see coming together a bit more. The girls are also, not only have they got bunnies on their dresses, but they're actually being bunnies as well. Okay. <laughs> we have brought this rug down here and we have got camp chairs set up where the sofas may go. So we may have a sofa there and we may have a sofa there or we still may have an L-shaped sofa. Hello, darling. Um, oh, and we went for, if you saw last week's uh, video, we were voting whether to go for this pixie dust wallpaper and we did actually go for the pixie dust, not the geometric. I think we've made the right choice because I'm really, really pleased with it. Oh, also forgot to mention that there is pixie dust wallpaper now out there too. So we've now got it there, there, the top of the stairs and in our room. But I'm really pleased that it. it looks quite subtle until you actually go up close to it and realize it's super sparkly. So really pleased with that. Um, we've got this little uh, table and chairs that um, was in Zara's room but I brought down here for the children to snack on when we are visiting. Hello, my darling girl. Yeah. I'm just gonna show everyone the kitchen and then you can help me do my, if I like this video bit, okay? Cause you're good at that, aren't you? Good girl. <laughs> anyway, the kitchen. I am rather thrilled with, and Zara's going to Neverland. Rather thrilled with the kitchen, with the tiles and the lighting. And we've also now got the toaster and kettle all unboxed. Look how lovely and shiny. I'm so pleased with those. So I will link the toaster and the kettle below. I will also link the tiles below because I know I've had a lot of questions about where we got the tiles from. So I will link those below too. So the kitchen, and none of this was sponsored by the way, we bought all of this. The kitchen was from Wren. Um, I'll link the tiles and the toaster and things below and the floor tiles are also quite sparkly because there's sparkle on this floor tile and sparkle, I'm not sure if you can see that, on the worktop too. I have done a little magnet test, thank you for those of you that chipped in on this, to figure out which of our pans uh, will work with this induction hob because we've got a normal gas one at the moment. And the answer is, until you put a magnet on it, you've got no idea because the ones I thought would work won't and the ones I thought wouldn't do. So we do need to buy some new pans, but not all new pans is the answer, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Um, I have also got this hand soap dispenser. I know the ones in the bathrooms are stuck to the wall, but I think the, that hand soap dispenser just looks sort of perfectly okay there. I have also got this which sometimes I guess I could leave out. I think that doesn't look too hideous, does it? With my kind of dishwashing brush in it. I mean, we will have a dishwasher, but there are still times you've got to wash up, aren't there? Um, but for now, that can go in there, out of the way. Because I'm quite fancying not having stuff on the worktops. This is Neverland, is it? Oh, is that why you're in the video? Okay, I'm glad it's Neverland. Well done. <laughs> Excellent. I'm, I'm so glad it's Neverland. <laughs> yeah, so um, I know at home at the moment we've got like pasta and things on the surfaces, but I really literally want to keep it to these small items because it's not a massive amount of countertop and I think it will do well to keep it nice and clear. Um, the fridge freezer obviously needs to go over here and this is kind of still like a builder's workstation of all sorts of things. I am going to be organizing my organization station um, of printables, which I will link for you to download when I've got all those up. So I'm hoping to get that done by next time. Did you say you need a wee? I didn't. You didn't say you need a wee? I didn't. You don't need a wee. Yes, you do. <laughs> So that's it for week 16. Next week, I've got lots of kind of organization stuff to show you. Um, this week, a lot of stuff has happened outside, fences and stuff, which are a bit boring. We're kind of only filming the inside, but that's kind of what's been going on. So now that all that's left to say is, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified.
If you want to watch my latest video, it's across here. And for more um, house renovation stuff, just down here. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.